Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we're going to make my keto version of Starbucks cold brew pumpkin cream. I think that's what it's called. That's what it's called. Beverage. So it's cold brew coffee with a pumpkin cream foam on top. Sugar free, keto friendly. Um, and I'll go over the ingredients with you. I made some cold brew, I made vanilla coffee. You can use whatever you like, but I thought vanilla would be good. Then I bought this. It's called it's Calfia Farms No Sugar Added Better Half. This is pumpkin spice. And it actually has in the ingredients almond milk, coconut cream, pumpkin puree, sunflower lecithin, natural flavors, pumpkin spices. It is zero carbohydrates, zero sugars. I want to shake it up really well. And then I have some heavy cream. It's keto. If you don't want to add heavy cream, you don't have to add heavy cream. That's what I'm adding to mine. I have some all natural, real pure vanilla. And then I have two packets of my stevia. You sweeten it how you like. I have a cup to froth and my frother. This is a battery operated frother. That's what I'm gonna use. You do you, but this is how I'm making mine. In a glass with some ice. So first things first, I'm gonna put my two sweeteners in because the cream is a little sweetened, but it's all no sugar added. And then I'm gonna put in my coffee, right? And I just store it in a mason jar. And then we're gonna, I'm just stirring this up a little bit. Got my sweetener in there. <laughs> you could use a spoon too, most people would. Now, I'm gonna add a couple drops of vanilla. Not, not a lot. Three drops of pure vanilla. You don't want to use fake vanilla for this. Stir it up. Okay. Now, cup is ready. In this glass, any container that you have, we're going to add, I'm not adding a whole lot of each. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of this. The Calfia Better Half Pumpkin Spice. Oh, I hope they come out with um, like a peppermint mocha. And then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of any kind of cream that you want. The cream is gonna help froth it up, thicken it up, and make it, well, creamy. So we did that. I love this Better Half, by the way. And the shelf life before you open it, this is good until June of 2021, so I'm gonna go stock up. And I don't think it has to be refrigerated. I buy it at Target in the refrigerator section. So now I have my frother, and I'm literally just frothing this cream. If you don't have a frother, you could take a mason jar, put the cream in it and shake it. You could take a whisk, you could take a mixer with a um, whisk attachment or just one beater. All you're trying to do is beat some air into this to make it creamy and frothy. And then you just do it until it's thick, up, you know, as you like it. I've pretty much added enough air that this has doubled in volume. And if it doesn't all go in there, that's okay too. And a napkin to put your frother on because I'm not at my sink. Then you take your glass and you top it with the pumpkin cream. What? Does that not look delicious? Now, if I had some pumpkin pie spice handy, I forgot that. You could sprinkle pumpkin pie spice on top. I'm not frothing it, I'm just, I like mine mixed in a little bit. And there it is. This is a sugar-free keto version of Starbucks pumpkin cream cold brew cold brew pumpkin cream. Hmm. Something of that nature. Oh, 
so good so good now you can add your sweetener also to the cream if you would like like it's not overly sweet it will start mixing in but if you wanted to you could add the cream to the top or add the sweetener to the cream instead of the coffee that's up to you so good so i hope you enjoyed my version of this delicious fall drink and if you did, if you could like, subscribe, share, comment below, I would appreciate it because it really helps my channel. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoy and you have a good one. Bye.